Hello, my name is Jesse Warden. Today we're going to talk about a massive subject, Corona MVC via robot legs. Now, what is Corona MVC and robot legs and all this mess? We're going to talk about all three, okay? It's a huge topic. Robot legs is a traditional flex and flash application MVCS framework. And a lot of the concepts have applied to build larger applications to Corona, especially for cross platform and sharing of code. So it's a large topic. I've broken it down to three main sections. We're going to cover that today. First off, my name is Jesse Warden. I'm a consultant. Uh, I've been doing this stuff for about 13 years. Uh, my company, Web App Solution, we deal with Java, Flex, Sencha, Angular, Web, uh, iOS, all that stuff. So we try to do large scale applications. We deal with you know enterprise clients more so than agencies. Uh, we follow on each other's talents. I do the front end a lot more. They do the back end more and collectively we knock it out. My tech background is started in director with the CD-ROM days, followed up with Flash, do really cool front end interactive stuff. As I started to mature from a programming standpoint, I fell into the flex world with the enterprise clients. And nowadays that seems to be Sencha. That's where a lot of the people go. Um, if they care more about functionality and components rather than how it looks and larger applications, Sencha just seems to be where things have been going from the JavaScript and web world. So that's where we focus. We built our own application framework called Flow and VC, which is from very familiar if you have uh, Java or Flex developers who are transitioning to web. That's what we've provided for the Sencha path. Education, I've got an art degree and then I got a business degree and leadership degree. Overall, I'm a self-taught coder. I've learned most everything from mentors and Google. That's in hard work, figuring things out myself. So that's my education background. So what we're going to cover today is building multi-device applications using Corona and Robot Legs. Okay, so using the Corona SDK with the Robot Legs MVCS framework to build those multi-device applications. The reason is you're trying to share code between devices by decoupling the views data. Okay, and this is really from handling the responsive design, which has you know been application development forever. It's just the web world has done a well, much better job of marketing it and bring it. Um, Describing it better, um, it's you're handling the responsive design via contracts, okay? Not interfaces, but just contracts, the way you interface. So why? Well, scaling applications can be hard. If you're not familiar with doing application development, scaling large applications, not simple, you know, cross-platform apps, okay? And the reason they're called apps versus applications, but larger applications, right? When they start to mid-size and get larger, some of the concepts and techniques that enterprise developers utilize really help you out especially when you're starting out so that's what we're really focused on today is scaling his application this whole presentation is about scaling his applications on corona sdk okay again uh, there's a lot of ways of doing it mvc mvp model view controller model view presenter we're going to cover cover that from a high level not too much um, but that is the solution that most people have chosen mvc mvp and microsoft's model view view model right those are the three main ways in 50 billion derivatives and everyone has their own way of doing it. Those are the solutions, okay? We're trying to prevent uh, copy pasta coding, right? The implementation that we've chosen with Model View Controller is the Robot Legs MVCS architecture or Model View Controller services. That has had a lot of success in a variety of Flex projects and Flash projects and ActionScript 3 Pure projects. So that uh, same set of workflows and patterns works just fine in Corona. It's very similar, very, very familiar. We're trying to prevent co not no copy pasta coding from the perspective of you are a developer, you know what dry is, right? Don't repeat yourself. You see some code, but you're not really sure. You feel like you're copying and pasting a lot, and you're not really sure the best way to organize it, right? Well, this is what Robot Legs and a formalized MVC structure provides. Okay. So that is that is the why it matters. Okay, scaling applications. We're going to cover today Corona. If you're not familiar with Corona or Corona SDK, what it is, what it does, what problem does it solve. Next, we're going to cover MVC from a high level, modern controller. If you've never heard of it before, what does it do, right? And what's the what problems does it solve? And what is Robot Legs? If we already have MVC and Corona does apps, then why does Robot Legs matter? What's the point, right? So we're going to cover that workflow.